लाइट कैमरा वीडियो ऑडियो स्टोरेज एक्शन speaking to jumana from acer and uh, their presence at the event uh, thank you for speaking to us hi chris uh, my pleasure always to uh, speak to you specifically at jitex <laughs> thank you um, we'd like to start with hybrid work which has become normal now um, how is acer addressing the challenges that come with it uh, you know hybrid work is uh, becoming a norm in our uh, era in our life in our everyday life and i think the it managers are having a nightmare in order because they need to think about a lot of lots of points and uh, whenever they want to make sure that the hybrid work is working properly like as if in the office so you have performance to think about productivity security data protection mobility lots of things so in asa we always take into consideration these pillars and these concern and we try to incorporate it in all the products um that we uh launch towards this vertical and i would like to highlight the latest product that we talked about and we launched in efa which is the travelmate p614 ai laptop it's an ai laptop co-pilot plus pc with a 48 tops and pu uh it's very light very ultra thin less than 1 kg it has all the security that intel and microsoft offered on a laptop from a tpm to intel v, uh, v pro and intel uh, arc iris and it has special ai uh, applications from acer uh, specifically put inside that portable productive more performance laptop in order to make sure that a person is very at ease working everywhere anywhere okay uh, you mentioned ai with one of the products that you launched at efa so uh, which are the other products uh, where uh, you're integrating ai we understand that we are living in a new era the era of the ai and everybody is talking about the ai but everybody is not thinking about how to simplify this ai to the end users and how to bring it in a format that is accessible to multiple pockets multiple costs multiple specifications multiple usage so we are lucky that we have a good relationship with all the processor alliance partners that's why for example newly in september we launched two laptops with intel cpus one laptop with qualcomm cpu and one laptop with amd cpu so you can have the advantage of having uh, uh ai copilot plus pcs from 45 tops to 46 top 48 tops and 50 tops uh possibilities all uh, with a great uh life battery that's above the 20 plus hours and on top of all these we've incorporated as well our own acer ai solutions from acer assist that can help that is your personal assistant on the laptop you can just if you don't remember the name of the file everybody like everybody has come to a place where i don't remember the name of the file but i talked in this file for, uh, about my grandma's uh, grandmother uh, something like that so you just type grandmother uh, i don't know recipe and then it will automatically search all your files and all your data and provide to you the files where your grandma recipe is okay for example this is just an example of uh, okay. the many ai functions that we are incorporating Okay um sustainability is uh, one of the major focus areas for Acer uh, how are you integrating that with product design and uh, packaging uh you know that uh, for Acer sustainability is something in our dna and for us we walk the talk it's not about just saying that yes we love sustainability and we want to be green for us we incorporate we launched the idea of conscious technology meaning that whenever we want to bring in a new product to the market being it a pc or a laptop or a monitor or a e bike or a router or even a purifier we think about how this technology will affect the climate change at the end will affect the environment that we are in that's why 
all our products now are launched under this conscious technology uh, concept, let's put it uh, this way. And when we tackle to sustainability, we tackle to all the life cycles of the product, from the design to the production, to the packaging, to the supply chain, to the end user, how he will use it, how he will service it, and to the end of cycle as well. So lately, I'm very happy to say that we are on track to achieve up to 30% of PCR materials in all our PC and uh, laptops and display by 2025. We are already on track with that. And we continue to enhance uh, 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 many sides of our operations in order to reach the net zero that, well, that we highlighted in uh, 2050. And we started from last year um, uh, with our supply chains to make sure that the air shipments and the sea shipments are using biofuel in order to limit the effect on the climate. Okay. This is in a nutshell. <laughs> okay. Um, and education is also one of the major focus areas for ASER. How are you supporting new ways of learning? Um, as I said, for, for us, at the heart of any technology that we produce is the end user. And education is a very dear vertical to our heart um, because it's the future. It's those kids that we want them to be near the technology, using the technology properly and enhancing their creativity and getting the skills needed towards this digital age that we are living and progressing year after year. So education is a very crucial part and not only for the student, for the teacher as well, because we have to enable the teacher with tools that will help him to uh, to uh, envision and embodies the, uh, all these new concepts into the young minds to enhance this curiosity. So we give them uh, laptops, we give them PCs, we give them hardwares and softwares uh, that will help them to create a lesson that is interactive, a lesson that is very, uh, very helpful, not boring, different sides of doing things and we were lucky that we uh, ventured with both Microsoft and Google in order to get enough of these best operation uh, systems to make the teacher at ease, the students at ease and the IT managers at schools at ease as well. And um, how do you plan to continue driving uh, innovation? Our mission has always been, since 1976, to break the barriers between the technology and the humans. And I know that in every era since 1976, the technology has been focused on something or another. And now we are in the AI era. So everybody is talking about artificial intelligence. But for us, we want to remind everybody that technology is here to enhance the human capabilities, not to replace them. For, so we talk about human intelligence, how we produce solutions and products in order to help the human intelligence, make it prosper so that the humans can do more, can do, produce more, can create more. So it has to be the human intelligence in every aspect, in the sustainability, at work, and play, gaming, uh, consumer, everywhere. It has to be. And that's why we follow closely and we make sure that any technology that we produce or we think of in our R&D center is towards this human intelligence. Uh, can you talk about the special labs and what significance it has? Our R&D team uh, were uh, really amazing in creating the special labs uh, uh, technology and patent. And uh, I know that uh, a couple of years we introduced the laptop special labs. Um, 
and then we introduced the monitor special labs and now to to get a full cycle on the special labs thing we have introduced the 3d special labs uh, eye camera with this camera you can take uh, any uh, photo or video and your content will be a 3d content then you take this uh, this photo or video and you plug it into your special lab uh, laptop or the monitor and you can immediately uh, go to the special lab uh, experience center open the player there and you can immediately uh, see your content in 3d no need for you to do any transformation or uh, to tackle it anything why because using this camera this camera has two eyes so it can capture uh, two images that will give you this depth the additional depth that you want and you can as well use this camera as a streaming cam and you put it on your uh, laptop and you do your video conferencing and streaming in 3d content okay. from the origin thank you thank you for speaking to us nice having you with us today thank you for having me chris